cross group. And this is going to calculate a new variable called mean, total grouped mean, but it's actually associated with each case for each group. So the first group had a mean, the five point data had a mean of 289.34, and that's true for all, all group one. And then in group two, the mean is 333.98. So that's how you, ca how you calculate a variable that's the mean that's broken across groups. Now I can actually calculate my absolute deviation scores divided by the mean for e these uh, grouped data. And that's how you calculate, uh, that, that's the first step in the, uh, or one of the steps in the Levine's test. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go into Transform, Compute. Again, I'm assuming you know what Levine's test is. Check that video out if you don't know what I'm talking about right now. So what I need to create is my um, absolute deviation uh, adjusted for the mean. Okay, if I just wanted to calculate uh, a an uh, absolute difference score, I could go uh, just use this function here: absolute values associated with the difference between my total grouped mean minus my total group mean. Uh, these are total group data, rather, but they're based on items that are uh, that are summed together. So total group. So these scores here minus their corresponding means, so 289 for the first group, and then it was something like 333 for the second group. Okay, so I need to calculate that, and then I need to divide it by the respective means. That's the one step that's different than the um, Levine's test, the ordinary Levine's test. Now I need to um, add some parentheses here. I need to parenthesize this portion and then I need to put a I don't know if I need to put the parentheses here but I will anyway around the whole uh, numeric expression alright so the total group scores minus their respective means 289 and 333 and it's going to be absolute values and then I'm going to divide those by their total grouped means, their respective means for the two groups. And that's what I'm going to actually perform an ANOVA upon. And if the ANOVA is statistically significant, then uh, I'll know that there's a statistical significance difference between the two coefficients variations. So here I'm going to calculate that variable. And here are the absolute deviations adjusted for, their, for the means. They're very small values. And now all I have to do is calculate a, an ANOVA on these data. So I've got my group 1 and group 2. Absolute deviation scores. I'm going to click on the descriptives. And I'm going to click OK. And it's actually, here I've got the statistical significance associated with my Levine's test for homogeneity of adjusted <laughs> coefficient of variation scores. And this is telling me, because the f value is statistically significant at p less than 0 0.05, it's actually 0 0.03, this is telling me that the mean of 0 0.0909 is statistically significant greater than 0 0.0737, which necessarily implies that my coefficient of variation for the seven point data, which was estimated at 11, is in fact statistically significantly greater than the uh, coefficient of variation of 9.09 uh, in when I estimated in the, based on the uh, the ratio of standard deviation to the mean. So uh, that is how you test coefficient of variations. That's how you can test coefficient of variations for statistical difference between the means. Now the last thing I'll note um, is. I pretended that this was a between subjects design. Now it's possible that you might in fact have a within subjects design. And how you test that uh, uh, might be more complicated. Uh, to be honest, I haven't looked into it in a lot of detail to see whether the within subjects design is something you can also apply this technique of Levine's test uh, against the adjusted coefficient of variation, or uh, the adjusted uh, absolute deviation scores. Um, I don't know if it's if it's something that you um, 
that you can do in it within subjects design. My hunch is that it, it, it might be all right, but I don't know for certain. Um, you might want to look into that in more detail. And please, if you find someone that's done research on that, I'd be curious to check it out and, and just give a comment or something on the on this video, and I'd be, I'd be uh, most, most appreciated. Uh, I hope you found this video useful, and um, I hope, thanks for watching howtostats.com.